Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. The multidisciplinary chip industry has great application requirements for dozens of top-level disciplines. Experts in the fields of mathematics, chemistry, physics, materials science, optics, etc. can find counterparts in the chip industry. Therefore, the global research results and patented technologies from the chip industry are very rich. A piece of data came that China's chip patent applications in 2022 surpassed that of the United States, and Chinese chips began to usher in the dawn. Like other countries, China also has its own chip development goals, such as achieving a 70% chip self-sufficiency rate, establishing integrated circuit colleges at the university level, and so on. These actions all know one purpose, which is to promote the continuous development of domestic integrated circuits and make greater breakthroughs in domestic chips. In order to stand in the first echelon of the chip industry, basic research is indispensable. From materials to equipment, to software supporting technologies, etc., there is a lot of room for breakthroughs in the subdivision of each chip. In the past, American companies have always been at the forefront, and all kinds of innovative technology research are related to American companies. Because of the early start, many American companies have become world-class chip giants. In order to achieve the return of chip manufacturing technology, the United States has introduced a 52.7 billion chip subsidy bill. According to related reports, the United States will use the 52.7 billion chip subsidies to build at least two semiconductor manufacturing clusters. In this way, the United States can design and produce the world's most advanced chips locally. This chip bill will attract companies capable of producing cutting-edge chips to set up major R&D projects and large-scale production bases in the United States. Ultimately, the United States wants to build the United States into a unique country in the world that masters advanced chip design and manufacturing. It ranks first in the number of global semiconductor patent applications. However, a piece of data came that surprised the United States. China's chip patent applications last year surpassed that of the United States. According to public data, the number of global semiconductor patent applications in 2022 will be 69,190, an increase of 9% year-on-year in 2021, setting a historical record. Among them, the number of applications from China is 37,865, accounting for 55% of the total global applications, ranking first in the world. Followed by 18,223 in the United States, accounting for 26%. From these data, it can be seen that China has made a qualitative leap in the basic research of the chip semiconductor industry. Patents represent the research results of an enterprise or an institution in a specific field. More patents mean more profound accumulation. China's semiconductor progress over the years is visible. Among the world's top 20 fastest growing companies, 19 are from China. Now that China has won the world's largest number of semiconductor patent applications, it indicates that the sky of Chinese chips is beginning to light up. Not only these, China also has a lot of accumulation in chip self-research and chip innovation. First look at the chip self-development. Domestic first-line mobile phone manufacturers have joined the self-developed team. In the past two years, Xiaomi has successively released Surging C1, Surging 1P, and Surging G1 chips, which are respectively used in imaging, charging, and battery management. In addition, Vivo also brings a self-developed V1 imaging system, and Oppo's Mariana chip is also a masterpiece of domestic chips. Not to mention Huawei, 
which has self-developed chips for more than 10 years and brought Kirin, Kunpin, Lingxiao, Honghu, Belong and other series of chips to meet huge business needs. The team of domestic self-developed chips is becoming more and more abundant. GRI has self-developed chips in the electrical appliance industry for many years, Zigwen John Rue's self-developed chips have reached the 6NM level, and Alibaba has self-developed a variety of Xuanti series processors based on the RISCV architecture. Device The achievements of some self-developed chips are obvious to all, and the scope and category of self-developed chips must continue to be expanded. Look at chip innovation. It is reported that domestic manufacturers will build the first domestic photonic chip production line in 2023. Compared with electronic chips, the transmission performance of photonic chips can be improved by 1,000 times, and there are not too many requirements for architecture technology, and the process of several hundred nanometers can meet the production needs. In addition, Origin Quantum built the first domestic quantum chip production line in Hefir, Ain Hue, and imported a large number of self-developed equipment to complete the design and development of quantum chips through the self-developed QEDA industrial software. Including small chip technology, which is also a major innovative research of domestic chips, the domestic standard for small chips has been released and the development direction of small chip interfaces, materials, and processes has been formulated for the industry. As the mainstream technology developed in the post-Moore era, small chips are expected to break through Moore's law, improve the utilization of chip resources, and reduce the difficulty of chip manufacturing costs. Throughout the chip innovation technologies such as photonic chips, quantum chips and small chips, there are basically solutions and development ideas in China, and even substantial results have been achieved. The United States relies heavily on traditional chip technology. If it were not for core technologies such as silicon-based chip material patents and integrated circuits, global semiconductors would be in a different situation, and the chip rules formulated by the United States would not be able to be implemented smoothly. In the final analysis, it is still necessary to rely on self-research, and only self-research can hold the core technology in one's own hands. If we stick to the previous idea of buying is worse than making, it is estimated that many roads will not work. On the bright side, Chinese chips have begun to adjust their posture. The number of semiconductor patent applications ranks first in the world. Major manufacturers have joined the team of self-developed chips, and research on chip innovation is also on the way. Looking forward to better progress in China's chip industry and more good news. If you agree with this video, please like it, welcome to forward, leave a message and share. Thank you for your watching.